Um, it's, it's pretty good. You no, know, it's good times at the moment, especially the last uh, four or so years I've been here. You know, we've just been going up and up, and uh, no, it's been really good. It's good fun. Well, I hope so. You know, we haven't named the team yet, and you know, played last week, and you know, just hope I've done enough to, to get another spot. Um, that's pretty good. I eh? got a good got a good boss at, at work, and you know, I'm a pretty well supporter, so they, they look after me in both ways. And uh, where? No, it's pretty good, eh? so I, I can't ask for a bit of that, and uh, I'll just keep it up and enjoy it. Um, well, that's quite humbling, you know, um, you know, especially, you know, I'm just a club player, really, you know, got no international status, and to get the applause and, and uh, the cheers I get, and uh, it's, it's, it's really nice, and I quite enjoy it, you know. Yeah, an interesting one, really. Um, we'll, we'll probably know where we stand before, the, before the kick-off, which is unusual as regards what we need to qualify. Uh, it could be out of our hands. I mean, we're not, we're not going to really know for a little while. But um, you know, I was told an interesting fact this morning that you know, aside from Saracens, I think you need to score about 12 tries or whatever next week. We're the team, that's, English team, that's still most in the hunt for a, a treble. So uh, this is interesting. This is interesting. Obviously. Um, it kind of shows how well we're going, you know, the season's alive for us in the Premiership and the Amblin and, and still at the moment in the LV, which is a fantastic place for us to be. Um, you know, we've got a lot, of, a, lot of, a lot of potential things that we can get out of the season if we're ambitious and we play well. And I think, you know, this weekend is just another example. You know, if, if things go away in a couple of other games and we hit the ground running, we've got a chance to get through to another round of a cup competition. And, and that's kind of the way we're looking at the season now, what we can get out of the season, how ambitious we can be and, and what, might, what might come along if we play well. Yeah, and I think I think that's probably what's fantastic about the LV the Cup and, and some of the rounds in the Amlin is that you get to have a good look at these guys. Um, you know, I think we're becoming, you know, and it is sometimes difficult to do, I think we're becoming more and more trusting of their abilities. That obviously gets easier once they play well for us and play well in the A-League. A I think Dave's done that extremely well. You know, he's, he's taken the, the, the correct route in a lot of ways. He's worked hard in our academy. Um, you know, he's, he's had some exceptional A-League performances. He's... Uh, had a season, nearly a season at Pirates now, where he's he's really bought into everything they're doing, um, getting plenty of regular game time at a high standard, and you can just see him, you know, coming on leaps and bounds, and you know, doing a big 80 minutes on Saturday. You know, he's done that in the Amelie fours in some of the rounds, and you know, hopefully he'll do it again this Saturday. And it, it just kind of shows the way he's developing. Uh, great to see Sam Hill getting a start and putting in a big performance. You know, we've, we've known he's had real quality. Uh, good to see Jack on the pitch as well, and we had Sam Jones up there. So, you know, academy-wise, things are looking good. You know, Luke Cowan Dickey had another good, good set of minutes. You know, in a tough position for a young man at, at Lucio Prop, and, and he's looking good as well. So, you know, always around there's, there's some good things happening with our academy setup, and you know, hopefully it's it's maybe not this year we reap the rewards. It's when these guys get their real experience and start coming through maybe in a year or two's time. Yeah, I mean they've said they said they want to go through. It's a good chance for them to try and get some European, you know, European qualification. You know, they've also said that they've got a, a number of injury problems, which means they're not they haven't got a lot to select from. So they're they're going pretty strong with what they've got. So it'll be it'll be tough for us, um, but I kind of want it to be tough. You know, we'll be going in with a, uh, you know, a mix and match side, uh, giving a lot of guys an opportunity to play in what I hope is a tough fixture because that's how they get better. You know, it's it's not, it's not the end of the world. We just qualify for the LV. But it is very important we we get better, and if our young players or some of the guys that play this weekend improve or lay down a mark of conclusion in the Premiership side, then we are getting better, uh, and that's the most important thing to see from the performance. Yeah, I think the next the next four Premiership games will pretty much decide how the how the rest of the Premiership season pans out for us. Uh, I think we feel comfortable. Uh, we should should be, you know, we're we're closer to the top of the table than we are at the bottom. Um, but I think this next block of games with I think two, maybe even three, I think three out of the four being at home. I think the reality is, you know, we've got to do well in them, um, and that gives us an opportunity to climb the table. You know, if we're ambitious, and you know, we perform well. There's a good opportunity for us to, to come out very positively. Yeah, to a degree. Um, you know, but you know, you go through that cycle every year. You know, you're always going to come up against you know, various teams this time of year. We don't really plan for it. We just we just go for every Premiership game absolutely flat out, and you know what'll be what'll be. So yeah, there's, there's an opportunity for us to take advantage of it, but I don't know if we play well. So it, we're working our favour. I hope so. You know, we'll just have to wait and see. 
it, it'll be a difficult one. I mean, you know, the, the truth is, um, it's not the best time to come watch a game of rugby. You know, winter's Sunday afternoon at five o'clock with it with it live on telly. You know, but you know that that's the what you have to kind of deal with when you you know moving around with television schedules. So I, I would just like to hope that uh, we get a decent crowd who want to come watch a good game of rugby. I mean, we're certainly going to attack the game. Um, you know, we've got to look to attack the game and win it. You know, we may even have to potentially try and get bonus points. So, you know, I think whatever happens is going to be a good game of rugby. Bath look like they're going to bring a strong side, which will be great for our supporters to come and watch. So, you know, just hopefully they can they'll come down and brave the cold and, and cheer us on and get the war drum the run, war drums going and uh, we'll get a decent bit of chanting out here. But that, that's what we want to need to see really, just a nice bit of atmosphere uh, and something nice for our for our team to play. For. Well, definitely, I think it shows we've got a very passionate support here, um, you know, and, and I think they, you know, they, they really made their feelings clear about getting TJ on the pitch a little bit earlier, which, which would have been nice, you know, hope, hopefully they'll, um, you know, in the near future they'll get to uh, chant and cheer for a, a few more extra players in the England setup.